You see, the, the difference between that approach you described and this one is that this one is functional. See, uh, I think about the functions, the functions of, of, of moving a key, the function of walking on a keyboard, the function of lying down on a keyboard. And you see, thinking about my shoulder muscle in order to, to inhibit a contraction of the fourth finger, there's nothing functional about that at all. Right. Like, who would, who would walk down the street, you know, and try not to limp by thinking about their, their, their tenth rib on the left side? <laughs> right. you know, it, it right. doesn't make any sense. I mean, I can see the, the lot, I can see the, the intent, but, it, but when, you, when you realize you have to think about things functionally, then it, it becomes kind of ridiculous. No, absolutely. So now you do the, that same thing with the third finger, and you don't do any more effort, but you do it a little quicker. Look at this. You see, I got a little more sound. Yeah, and, and rest the heel. Yeah! How quickly can you do that? Yeah, and there, yeah, that's a great sound. And there's still, there, there should be no effort in the finger. It's as if the arm was doing it. That's right. That's right. Sorry, I think my piano is out of, I haven't tuned in so long, so I haven't played. <laughs> Oh, listen to mine. Mine's worse. Listen. <laughs> That's how they tune pianos in Serbia, man. Okay, so that's that, so that's that's going great. So now let's let's see. I want to try something else a little. All five fingers like this on white keys. And yeah, I sort of did this in my film in that that first uh, section when I talk, and I talk about the, so building the hand up, but it's still like a house of cards. Yeah, that's that. That's it. That's right. And so, so actually, the arm is still doing most of the work. Right. That's right. And then once you're there, once you're there, then go a little forward and a little back. But again, it's the arm that's doing it all. The fingers are doing the absolute minimum amount of effort that they would need to do simply to keep the keys down. But they're not, they're not straining in any way whatsoever. Yeah. And then, from that position, collapse the house of cards diagonally. Yeah, like that. <coughs> and then diagonally to the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is kind of like awareness through movement for the hand. Are you familiar with Feldenkrais at all? I'm sorry? Are you familiar with Feldenkrais method at all? I've heard of it just from your uh, videos. It sounds very uh, interesting. Yeah, so this is kind of like an awareness through movement lesson for the hand. It's it's doing certain small movements, but taking out all the effort. And the, so the, the neuromotor system can reset. Because the sensory information, all the sensory information going to the brain is so different from your habitual sensory information. Well, the brain can... So there's a new sensory image of the hand developing. And the brain uses that new sensory image to reprogram how it does movement. So I don't know if you can see, I'm pretty up right now, and then I'm just rocking the pelvis back, and you see my torso sinking down a little, and the back is rounding, but it's not collapsing. Like I can still breathe, you see? Right. And this, the roundness of the back now, I associate with the roundness in my hands. So, if, so, uh, <clears throat> let's see, uh, so... I would now do this, this, this motion here, the one we were doing before, that's one. But now, I would, instead of doing it with the arm moving forward, I would make the body move forward. Now, as the body moves forward, it does not straighten up. That's right. And as the body moves back, it just sort of rocks backwards and sinks down a little bit, but not, does not slump too much. So the body moves forward, and then the body moves back. And now in Feldenkrais, Feldenkrais teaches a way of rocking the pelvis where as you go forward, the sternum comes up. And as you rock back, the sternum goes down. 
But here we're here we're not doing that. Here the body just stays relatively at the at the same angle to itself. <coughs> and this again, this is an important message to the fingers. This so that even if you wanted to if you wanted to do that, it's not those poor little fingers acting all by themselves. It's actually the fingers are doing virtually nothing. You see, because that's right, because the body moved forward, the body moved forward, the body moved forward, and and the fingers virtually had to do nothing. That's right, that's wonderful. Nice. Yeah, like, yeah. I would never be able to kind of play that fast without horrible contractions of my fourth finger. So this is quite remarkable. 